Greetings, beloved. So it's my day off, and I just came back from a mini tour, um, an adventure tour, actually. <sighs> so for the last few weeks, um, maybe maybe over a month, I have been craving a particular fast food. I will not name it just because I'm not promoting I'm not promoting it. But I've been craving this fast this fast food um, so much. And each time I, I thought about going there I put it off um, because it's a little out of my my routine, my normal routine. If I were to take the bus, I would have to take two buses to get to it. So the, well, the closest one, I'd probably have to take two buses. There's another one that's a little bit further away, but it's 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 really tiny, and uh, I much prefer the one that I would have to take two buses. So I decided today that I would go to that one. And even this morning as I was thinking about it, I was wrestling with the idea because um, tomorrow is my, my orthodontist appointment and usually when I have my appointment, it's a little difficult to eat immediately after. So um, I was considering going to the other location maybe after I have my orthodontist appointment but then I, I figure I may not be able to eat and since I've been craving this thing for so long I just go and have it today so I went and I ordered my meal it took me quite a, a, a little time to order because it's not one of my popular eating spots so I'm not really familiar with the menu but I ordered my meal and I sat down to eat and as I was eating usually when you're eating you know you you have that first bite of something that you really want and it's almost like you can you can what's the word I'm looking for you that 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 satisfaction that you get from that first taste is like you want to preserve it you want to extend it and i never had that <laughs> i had a thought like is this really what i was craving and the truth is that that's not what i was craving that's not it i didn't get the taste i was looking for I've, I've been yearning for and i still have not gotten the taste even after completing the meal i still have not gotten the taste and even as i rode home i was thinking about it that so many of us are craving so many things we're craving um relationships we're craving positions professional positions we're craving monetary gains um, we're craving different relationships maybe a spousal relationship um, you know we're craving so many different things but are those things really what we're craving or is it is it just a cover for the thing that we truly need the thing that we truly desire and as I was riding home I was reflecting on how how satisfying it is, how fulfilling it, fulfilling it is for me each time I go to the Word of God. And I've never been disappointed. Never, ever. There's always something to satisfy my appetite. And the truth is that appetite is it's never completely satisfied because I'm always desiring more I'm always wanting more and that is what the Lord does to us when Jesus spoke to the woman who came to the well he told her that he would give her water that would spring up into everlasting life and I believe that is what he meant that 
that this this water that we taste this water that we have that it doesn't quench your thirst once and for all time it's it's a kind of water that you go and you, you feel satisfied but you still want more and i i really thought about it today and um i just want to encourage us to spend time in the word if it is even one verse of scripture that you can read for a day and just reflect on it just meditate on it take one promise that he has made to you and meditate on that promise and declare it over your life declare it over the lives of your children over your spouses over your friends over your family and um you know just allow the word to satisfy you as it has been satisfying to me and to all of us who have chosen to surrender to Christ and to, to um, continue to feed on this, this if you are watching this recording and you have not yet surrendered your life to Christ um, I just want to encourage you that it's the best decision you could ever make it's the most rewarding decision that you will ever make in your life I promise you um, over what is it now 20 over 19 I believe it's over 19 years ago I gave my life to the Lord and the only regret I have is that I didn't do it before that's my only regret the more I know him there's the more I am just resting in him and the more I'm seeing how he's just working things out for me I don't have to worry about things anymore <laughs> I don't I really don't and it doesn't mean that I don't have challenges it doesn't mean that I don't have moments where I you know I, I ask God questions I ask God a lot of questions because there are a lot of things I still don't understand but the more I know him and the more I'm, I'm desiring and seeking to listen to him is the more he is showing me that he is with me and that he's working things out for me and I just don't need to worry that's what he told us in Matthew chapter 6 um, that we shouldn't worry about anything because he provides for the birds and the lilies and we are more valuable than they are and therefore he will provide for us so we don't have to worry about anything so I just want to encourage us to seek him the full satisfaction that we need for our lives it's found only in him and um, there is no there is no point in wasting our lives trying to satisfy ourselves and the things that the world the party and the drinking the friends and all of that I mean sometimes it's good it's good to, to you know lie with the friends and enjoy a good time but what happens after that at the end of the day you want to ensure that whatever you're doing it is bringing honor to him okay. yeah, so I just want to thank you for taking the time to listen and I trust that you will um, moving forward you will be purposeful about choosing to um, seek to know Christ if you don't yet know him and if you do if you have a relationship with him that you would seek to grow in your relationship with him thank you once again God bless you love you lots thank you for joining me on this journey and I look forward to sharing more interesting moments with you of my time here in Japan and in the presence of my daddy, our daddy. Thank you once again. God bless you. See you soon.